Now, speaking of climate alarmism and selfishness, the troubling news is that, is that it's infecting federal parliament as well. With so many Greens and Teal independents now in parliament, there's no shortage of hysteria about global warming. These Teals have been pushing misinformation every day and they propose policies that would be disastrous for the country. But you want to know how selfish they are? Well, their first contribution to our political debate... You couldn't make this stuff up. Their first big issue is to demand that taxpayers pay up to give them extra staff. Prime Minister Anthony Albanese apparently has allocated fewer staff to them than the independents received under the coalition. Before they've even put their bums on the leather in Canberra, before they even know what their job actually entails, they claim they need more staff to do it. What Mr Albanese is trying to do is to nobble the crossbench and to render us less effective. Really hard to understand how we can effectively discharge the duties that we have as parliamentarians with a staff cut of that severity. This move from the PM is hugely damaging and disrespectful. Pretty much impossible to be across all the legislation and to act, actually be able to contribute with, with one advisor. What a load of rot. They want to be independents, but now they want all these resources to help them deal with the job that they don't understand. Albanese is giving them four staff members each. That's one more than backbenchers get. These people should get the same number of staff as any backbencher, no more and no less. But they're so selfish and full of themselves that they want the sort of staffing levels that a minister might get. Albanese is dead right on this. Public servants have been cut in Centrelink and right around the country. The only place there's been an increase has been in crossbench staff. Uh, so uh, the federal government as well, I as Prime Minister, have uh, cut $1.5 million from the government member's budget uh, that was allocated by the former government uh, to its staff members for additional salaries. So sacrifices have been made across the board. Uh, I do say that the public comments from some of the crossbench members have not been echoed uh, by the ones that I've spoken to, one-on-one, -on -one, who want to be constructive. Yeah, you've got to be with Anthony Albanese on this one. Let's hope the Prime Minister holds firm. The independents pretend to care about integrity, but the first thing they want is special treatment, extra staff to help them play more of their political games. They don't even seem to be worried that if they employ more people, there'll be a heavier cost on taxpayers, of course, but also more space needed, more computers, more phones, more travel. So, yes, more greenhouse gas emissions. You'd think they'd want to minimise their carbon footprints, wouldn't you? But as ever with these people, they always want other people to feel the pain while they find excuses not to make any sacrifices themselves.